So, Madam Doctor, um, what is unusual about this cadenza? Um, which is instead of the very last cadence, right. it's in the middle. It's in the middle, before yeah. the recapitulation. It's the only one, mm -hmm. isn't it? Because the cadence, the cadenza, usually comes just before the final cadenza of the piece, and then maybe there's a coda. Mendelssohn had this extraordinary idea of putting the cadenza in the middle of the piece. That's amazing, <laughs> isn't that magical? Well, look, you're an amazing player, musician, performer, you're ready uh, to go out in the world. I mean, you're really extraordinary. I mean, it's great, great playing. You know, when I was, I'm 76, when I was your age, playing of this kind was extremely unusual. Now it's becoming more and more common. It's uh, the level of playing. I mean, it's like in athletics and everything else. I mean, it's just spectacular violin playing. Um, and, and really have to congratulate you on, on having reached that. And it's not just your violin playing, it's also musically, it's very beautiful. Now, I believe you were not in the session before, is that you were not here. Yeah. And I know what you were doing, weren't you? You were practicing, weren't you? <laughs> Do you know, you need practicing like New York needs more traffic. <laughs> right. right. So, can you get out of that th worry about, will I be ready, will my fingers move? Because if I woke you up at 3 o'clock in the morning, you could play that well. Right. So you missed a very extraordinary session in which a wonderful young musician played beautifully, but where he was thrown into the confusion of two tempi or several tempi. And you're the same. Now, you're not alone because virtually every single musician who plays this piece plays it that way. And I'm not convinced it's necessary yeah. because the trouble is that when he goes to the second theme, he's actually written in the slowness by using slower notes. You don't need to add to it mm -hmm. by playing more slowly. Mm -hmm. He's already written that way. And Mendelssohn is a very interesting composer because he's not really a romantic. He's a classical composer. You know, he hated Wagner mm -hmm. and he loved Berlioz as a person and hated his music. Isn't that interesting? He hated Berlioz's music, but he said he loved him as a person. He was so interesting and so fun to be with, and he couldn't see. He said his music made him sick. <laughs> right. Actually, physically sick. So Mendelssohn has a kind of a classical uh, st structure, and so I think you can... Let's look at that. There's nothing I can say to you which you need, right? All I can say is share some, some thoughts for you to think about. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with what you do. Right. Second thing is he writes a very interesting Italian title. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what it is, the, uh, the Italian title at the beginning of the piece? What does he call it? Right. Well, that's very interesting that you don't know it. And there's nothing wrong with that because most musicians don't look at that. But it's actually very interesting. He writes the word allegro, then he writes the word molto, and then he writes the word appassionato. Yeah, yeah. Is there a comma in there somewhere? No. no. So it's not allegro, molto appassionato. And it's not allegro, molto appassionato. It's allegro, molto appassionato. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think you could find some more appassionato feeling by playing it allegro molto. Mm -hmm. okay. That's my feeling. Now, I'm just about to play this piece with a very great violinist, uh, um, 
Frauchi, do you know? Uh, no. she, she's playing with the Boston Philharmonic in, in a couple of weeks we're doing. And incidentally, the other two pieces on the program are two of the great romantic works, Schumann Manfred and the Elgar First Symphony. And in between this gorgeous Mendelssohn, heavenly Mendelssohn piece. So she, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to uh, encourage her to play at what I call in a real allegro malta. But should we just try it for fun? So, boom, 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 boom. It's very interesting um. about that passive. It's because you've practiced it so much. Every violin is practiced. And you sound as though you're playing a self trick. You play fantastically freely. And then, why not? And that will also help her to come in. Do the first one. Makes such a difference. Otherwise, the orchestra. Uh, I'm dumb, but uh, <laughs> it's your job to get the orchestra, not the conductor. Well, that made a big difference. Isn't that a, that's what I call an allegro molto appassionato. So you're doing many wonderful things. Uh, so much of this music depends on being clear which are the heavy bars and which are the light bars. And you do it, but I think you can do even even more. <laughs> A heavy light, a heavy light, boom, but here are a dear, a heavy light. Should we exaggerate that together? One and you know, there's a there's a wonderful Ge German phrase, nebenbei, which means to the side. And that's what this is. This is not toward or you. It's. Yeah, da, 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 da. <laughs> Yeah, and you see, if you do that, then you get da da ba da ba ba pi da da ba da ba ba pi. They belong together. Isn't that beautiful? That's neighbor by. Isn't that beautiful? Not because there are four concertos, Beethoven. Four German concertos, Beethoven, Brahms, Bruch, and Mendelssohn. None of the others are neighbored by these. Are, this is neighbor. Yes.
know that now. <laughs> she's, she's played it, she's played it 5,000 times, but never that, right? <laughs> Bach, Mendelssohn looked back, Schubert looked forward. So M Mendelssohn's looking at Bach, he loved Bach and Handel, that's what he was doing there. But that was great. And you see how much easier it was for her to come in? It was, felt great, didn't it? It's a, such a difference now. It's such, so much more interesting. Go on, second phrase. Don't get stuck. To that walkie. Yes! Notice we don't have to change the tempo here. Isn't that great? Because, because, because uh, 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 Mendelssohn didn't say a tempo here because he assumed you would. Isn't that fascinating? Because with freedom, we did exactly the same with Dominic before. If you are a master of rubato, rubato is taking time when there's something in the music that is special, a beautiful harmony, beautiful color, a dynamic, something in the music that is special, you take time and then you pull the elastic and shoo, goes back into tempo. So let's just try, because there are a few places in the second theme where you can do even more subtle coloring. But, and you notice how pleasant you made it for the winds because you went right into your low G and they took right over. Otherwise, you do dee da 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 wa, and they have to start. It, 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 it pulls the music apart. It's a very, very interesting thing that composers create tempo change by changing the, the, the note values, not by changing the tempo. They change the character by changing the note values. By making fewer notes, they create a different mood. But that doesn't mean you have to play it slower. So it's a really beautiful thing. Should we try from there? You up in that? <laughs>
beautiful. Mwah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> And no one wants you to stop. That's the best thing. No one wants, not one person says, oh, thank goodness she stopped. Nobody's feeling <laughs> that. Because we love listening to you play. And all I'm doing is adding a, just a little bit more thinking. Yeah. It's actually thinking, um, which will make you into really, I mean, just an amazing artist with great playing and beautiful spirit you have. Really beautiful spirit. It's really fun to listen to you. It's great to play with you, isn't it? Lovely. <laughs> And this gives you a little bit more coherence mm -hmm. to the music. Yeah. Okay, what a pleasure. It's a Thank privilege you. to hear you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 